looking for a quick video on how to bind Express LRS when it's in an SBI receiver, stay tuned because we're gonna smash it out, show you how in a couple of minutes. G'day you absolute legend, Stu from UAV Futures here and today we're not going to waste any time. I'm going to be showing you guys how to bind an Express LRS receiver, uh, an SPI receiver I should say, so that's when it's built into your flight control or something like this, like on the little Mob 8. We're going to jump back and forth between this view, also talking about it on the uh, computer view, I'll be recording some stuff on there. And hopefully you've already done most of your other setups. If you haven't done this, this video is not for you, but like you've set up Express LRS on your radio, you've got your Lua scripts, all that sort of stuff, it's ready to go. Um, if you haven't, uh, check the link up here or somewhere like that, there'll be some more detailed videos on Express LRS. However, let's do it. So you've got an Express LRS SPI receiver, man, what a mouthful. You plug it into your computer. You don't need to bind anything in terms of touching the radio once you've done this or uh, really doing too much with the configurator, anything like that. All you need to do is know your bind phrase. How, so what we're gonna do, let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. Alrighty, this is going to be linked down below. This is the Express LRS configurator. So this is where you're going to set up your radio and your TX, all that sort of stuff, your transmitter. Um, if you scroll down here, look, these are all going to be different depending on what you've uh, you've chosen. I've just chosen, chosen an old version here because this is the important part, this binding phrase right here. And this is my custom binding phrase, which is UAV futures. Now what we need to do. So once that's set up and uh, your radio is all done and you've flashed your radio, fixed up your radio, done the Lua scripts also, check the link for all that sort of stuff. Let's jump over and talk about what we need to do to connect it to our little SPI receiver on our actual drone. So we're going to connect to beta flight right here. The drone is plugged in and we are going to go and type in get express lrs if you hit enter right there you will see there is an express lrs uh unique identifier number right here because you can't just type in well i don't think you can type in at the moment set my bind phrase as this no it needs to be put in these sorts of digits now how do we how do we know exactly what digits are going this drone's going to know to spell uav futures because that was our bind phrase well that is where if you go to the express lrs website right here and uh, i'm going to put this down below as well and this is all about spi receivers there's some great videos on here here is where you would do that so can anyone remember playing at home what was our uh, bind phrase ours was uav futures and it is going to be case sensitive so i know mine was capitals uh, and then uh, right here you can see a set express uh, lrs unique identifier so this is what our identifier is and uh, this is what it is when this is the little command we need to put in to our cli of our drone to be able to do that so let's copy that we're going to jump over to beta flight paste it in hit enter it's going to uh, do all that sort of stuff it's going to reboot because you click save in there now we can go back get let's type this in get express l r express e l r s or is it l r s ah it's get get ex oh my gosh i can't type get express l r s look here is our unique identifier i don't know if this was the same one as before because it could have already been bound up to my drone but here you can see our express id is now you know 134 blah 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 which uh, should, which is going to be the same as UAV Futures. And if I jump over to here, here it is, 134.33.107. So now all you need to do is basically turn your drone on. Bob's your uncle. You are off to the races. You are going to be flying. I'll be able to disconnect right here. And if we did jump over to the receiver tab, um, I don't have my radio turned on at the moment, but then you notice this is all connected. So you wouldn't need to hold down any bind buttons. You don't need to set your transmitter into bind mode. You don't need to basically get your drone and press little buttons or anything like that or plug it in and out. As long as you set those unique identifiers the same or those bind phrases the same, that's it. That means they're going to talk to each other. Think of it as just putting them on the same channel. A little bit like with our analog video, if you're Radio is, if your drone is spitting out a channel like um, F1, which is 5740, and you've got your headset set to receive 5740, they're going to talk to each other. You don't need to actually bind up those uh, analog videos. It's very similar sort of concept with these drones. As long as they've got the same binding phrase, uh, you should be good to go. 
So anyway, that was a quick little video. Let's jump back to the studio and uh, wrap this one up. Right there, so there it is. There's how to bind your Express LRS SPI receiver to your radio. Uh, as soon as you power it on, it's gonna accept the commands. You can check that in beta flight as well. Bob's your uncle, you're ready to rock and roll. Check the links down below for the uh, the key converter or the passphrase converter, what a unique key, whatever that's called. That website's gonna be linked down below as well as the configurator um, and a bunch of other links as well. Subscribe for more FPV related content. Let me know, I know this video is not gonna be super popular for everybody out there. I just wanna help some people get flying because that's what UAV Futures is all about. So if this video did help you, if it did help you bind your uh, SPI receiver, drop, drop, me a, drop me a like or drop me a comment or something like that. Or if you really like it, uh, I would greatly appreciate some Patreon support. So that link will be down below to help me make videos like this. Subscribe for more FPV related content. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and as always, happy flying.